fuck? Why would you start the... Start, stop the thing. We're starting it over. Because I'm not going to fucking start with that now. <laughs> stop the fucking thing. Hey, everybody. No, I'm no. I'm not fucking... No, I'm not this fucking doing awesome this. This What? You fucking do the introduction by yourself thing. You're a fucking dick. So, stuff in mouths and stuff. God. Faceful Thursdays. Yeah, it's a Faceful of Thursdays, everybody. He ruined it. Woo. I guess we're going with it. Um, how y'all doing? Hope y'all doing well. Um, Faceful of Thursdays, Mike and Mike. You guys know the usual uh, movie day. We went and saw uh, Murder on the Orient Express, which is a uh, a remake of a 70s movie as well as a book by uh, Agatha Christie. Yes. So, a well, good book. Um, and if, if, if you like uh, murder mysteries, fun fun movie to go to. Uh, had a lot of had some big names in there like William Defoe, Michelle Pfeiffer, um, got who else? Daisy Ridley, which of course you guys know is from Star Wars. Um, you know, a couple a couple other big names in there. It was uh, it was fun. She did a really good job. She did. She did. Really, she did do a really good job. Michelle Pfeiffer, wow. Yeah, Michelle Pfeiffer played a very dark character. I can understand why, but like it, it, was, it was dark. It was an unusual role for her. Penelope Cruz. Penelope Cruz, that's right. She, uh, uh, she played uh, a, uh, Willem Dafoe. William Dafoe. Who I was not anticipating his character, honestly. I totally when they... I couldn't... Yeah. I, it, when he, he said he was uh, German or, or what, Bulgarian or something like that? Or Belgium? No, he was a or German, German? Uh, engineer. Yeah, he was, he was an engineer. Yeah, he's a he's a professor, professor of engineering. engineering. And I was like, oh no shit! And then he's like, no, you fucking lied to me. I was like, oh no way, because he, he mispronounced one, one word. word, which as a that's a skill all in itself. But I mean that he, he is, that dude's like he's fun. like a sh fucking Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, actually, I, th I think the way he views things, I think, is better because Sherlock Holmes is all about evidence. Yeah, really. his is he what's is, out of place. Yeah, his yeah. is everything that's just if it doesn't un, fit. Yeah, if it, if it, everything that's wrong, wrong about the world, he is able to see it underneath a magnifying glass. Which is awesome. Actually, a pretty cool ability. But at the same time, he sees the wrong and everything. Well, yeah, the if, yeah. That's that's the bad side. So like he's fun. able to see people that are innocent. That's that. That was the whole thing. Exactly. So, pretty. Uh, it was a good. great. It, it, it honestly, it was uh, it was an interesting movie. We were kind of talking back and forth uh, a couple of times in the movie. Um, you keep you keep wondering who who it is. Like, like who oh, we think it's this person now. You think of this person. Yeah. And uh, it was like kind of funny because about like halfway through the movie, like spoilers. Uh, spoilers. For I look at. Uh, I feel like that's why people don't watch our videos because we say spoilers. Out. Yeah, spoilers. Uh, I look over at me. <laughs> Yeah, the yeah, like, goes, yeah, it's all of them. <laughs> I'm like, ah, yeah, it is. Turns out it's fucking all of them that murder him. <laughs> We're like, what the fuck? We're like, like, I was like, I'm like, man, everyone's like connected. Well, somehow. yeah, I was really anticipating him saying, oh, it was this person. Nope, it was fucking all of them. All of them, yeah. All yeah, of them murdered him. It was just like, just in a joking manner, when <laughs> all of them did it. No, straight up. No, they straight all up, all of them did it. All of them fucking all killed them. Johnny Depp, yeah. All of them murdered Johnny Depp. It was straight. Actually, but I liked that, though. And what I liked, too, was... If you're a fan of Ridley Scott, Alien movies, uh, uh, what was Inception? He did all that crazy stuff. Um, he does a. He, I liked his cinematography that he put in there. Yeah, Ridley Scott was one of the co-producers, and you can tell it was just a lot of his cinematography added to the movie because he does a lot of the overpan views. And that and his, and the originality of the. I know it's a remake and a and a a a, a, a movie a film um, make of a book. But I liked the origin. It had a, a, a sense of originality to it. I'm not a sure. I'm not 100 sure about the whole story, so I don't know what they got right and what they got wrong. You have to go see it for yourself in order to, to judge that. But I thought the. I mean, I thought the story was good. I really liked that it was all of them, because that towards the you know towards the end you're thinking, oh, it, it is. It might be all. Of them. No, it can't be all of them. No, it's fucking all of them. It, it makes you second guess back and forth. It's 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 a good movie in the in the fact that it gets you thinking constantly you're like who did it? it it's like the um the movie clue yeah uh with tim it curry is. yeah it where is where you get that excited you're like who who did it oh man and then you're like it's that person no it can't it's be that, that person, person. Yeah. yeah it's just the butler you know exactly no it really is yeah, exactly that's what and, it is that's what i like about it in this movie it's it's all of them so it's just like this huge like 
mind inception. It was, it was, it was, but it was, it was good. I, it had a lot of originality to it as far as the characters themselves. Everyone played which very they they did good they character. played the characters to to the T, which I really um, enjoy. So the storyline, it, it's not super action packed. It no, really isn't. It, it, it's it's a very it's an enthralling story. It's somewhat boring to a to a T. It builds is what it, it does. It builds, but the biggest thing that that really captures the movie is the acting. Everyone does a stellar job. Oh yeah, of playing who they're supposed to be. Yeah, who they're mission, the missionary, the governess, whatever, whoever it is. Uh, I mean, they're just it's just spot on. Yeah. I mean, even Johnny Depp playing the bad guy gangster was just just perfect. I, I the acting is really what puts it. The whole thing wraps the whole thing really well. So I mean I'm I don't really have any bad stuff. This is like the what the third movie now in a row that we didn't have bad stuff. To, fourth. We started with uh, Foreigner, and then we went Salt Only the Brave, and then Thor, and then this one. So we've seen like some really good movies lately. Yeah, they're getting better towards the end of the year. I mean, that's probably where they pull out all their stuff. Yeah, so they're like, towards they're the waiting. end of the year. We're gonna give you, we're gonna give you kind of the best stuff. You start off the year with, kind of some with shitty, the shitty stuff. questionable, questionable movies. They're like these are the ones that we didn't want to release, but we'll go it anyway to give you something good. But while we're making the rest of the stuff for the rest of the year. Yeah. It's like giving a dog a bone, or, or giving a dog like a, a piece of bo a bone before you give him the big meat. He's a little piece. He's a little piece. Mr. Wolfers. Yeah, you'll be nice. Oh, these are good boppers. Good, good, good dosh. So, good dosh. So, um, oh. Megan, you got, oh, sorry, Megan's back there. I don't know if you, I, I, uh, did you want to be included the on trifecta this trifecta of M, yeah, yeah, we've got our special guest. She's I think back. she's, a, oh, no, she's not asleep. Okay, never mind. I lied, she's hey. not asleep. I'm awake. She's awake, but she don't want to talk, so she's not here. Don't worry about her. Uh, she grumpy. Um, we tried to leave her in the parking lot. It's kind of funny. Yeah, we were. Yeah, stepping, we started running. <laughs> she has heels on, so we kind of yeah, won. Yeah, she got heels Great. on. Great. But um, we are. Good movie, but you guys are assholes. We, so I don't want to talk. She so she don't want to talk. So we're just gonna go ahead and say she gave it a ten out of ten. Uh, we went there. We still need to get a scale. Need that. That's a necessity. I mean, you could. <laughs> Not the eye. Why do we want the floating eye? No, want the floating eye. <laughs> no. So, so um, now yeah, we're great crazy. movie, guys. Yeah, great movie. Go and check it out. If you like original, if you like original uh, murder mysteries, you'll you'll love this one. And, and I mean, even He's saying you know, original, but it's it's a remake. It, no, yeah, yeah, but it had a lot of originality put of into it. A remake of a movie. Of a movie, so. which is what I said in the beginning, but it still had its own originality to it. The way the film was done and the way the acting was done. So if you, if you got it, because they use correct the correct actors, which I, I thought. So, you know, if you if you like it, if you like murder mysteries, then you'll definitely like this one. So, it's about yeah. Anything else to add? For a minute there, I thought it was gonna be like the friend. Which one? The oh, the guy who's taking the skimming off the uh, No, his, his friend that he runs into at the beginning who's in the bakery shop with the huh? prostitute. Oh, the guy who was in charge of the yeah. whole train. I actually did for a second there too, Only but for a moment I thought he was going to be right, right there at the very uh, towards the very end when he's holding out, them all. But it turns out since he slept in another cabin, mm -hmm. he was not on the list. Exactly. But yeah, he had access to the entire cabin, so which would have made sense. But yeah, um, there's a slight flaw though. What? Um, now that I'm thinking more and more about it, him. You said his name is Book. Book. So. Book at the end is like, no, that can't be, that can't be, while he's standing behind all of them with a gun, and then he just kind of lets everyone go. Like, he just accepts it for what it is. Well, we also have to think of it in his shoes. He's in charge of that train, so he doesn't want any of that shit to come back to him and make it look like it's like shit, people are getting murdered on his train, so he doesn't want any of that, that business. So it could have been him. But since they all admitted to it, I think kind of ends the movie right there. Like, they all did it, but they're not going to get charged for it because the detective kind of found it. You know, he's kind of like, well, you know, this is justice. That it's, you know, this is a different kind of justice, but it's still justice. Since we didn't stay to the end, what if it had flashed over and it was actually him? Um, I thinking? highly doubt. I doubt I'm it, just saying, like, It was, but off. hypothetically, I'd be very pissed off, and then I would give the movie, like, a 5 out of 10. But I'd give it, like, a 9 out of 10. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was really well. Um, it was, uh... 
it had some originality to it as well as sticking to the uh, old book and the uh, and a lot of parts of the old movie. And uh, they didn't explain about Catherine though. Catherine, which one was fucking Catherine? My love, my love, my love. Catherine. Oh yeah, they never went into it, but I think that was I think that was why he had turned the other cheek on this one was because for his wife type thing. They never explained how she died or, or what happened, any of that stuff. We like we knew he was in love at one time, and like that's his own true love, like his only true love, which is why he wasn't gonna be with like yeah. Michelle Pfeiffer's character. But I don't think that was. But I think I don't. I think they didn't want to get caught up in his story when they're trying to find out who murdered this person on the train. So I think they kind of did that for a reason, which I can understand. Yeah. You know, you don't want like, and they didn't want to be like, you didn't want to like skew who he was. Like maybe he's in grief and wants to like find all these fucking murderers no matter if they did it or not like you know shit like that so I mean there's always ways you can misconstrue it so I think they kind of left that out on purpose I don't know I thought I mean I thought it was I thought it was a really good movie I thought it was um how do you put it a, 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 a remake or an original remake is I guess is how I would describe it good movie go and see it like, Please subscribe, like comment, and subscribe, comment below. Fucking comments, comments, um, man, Jesus. Forward the videos uh, to other people that do rants in, in videos. A like for a like. I'm more than happy to. I would just like to get some more viewers. So if you guys have any recommendations, private message me um, on my YouTube channel. Let me know uh, if you guys have ideas or if you guys know of a program. Uh, that'll help with put a scale in there. <clears throat> putting a yeah, putting That'd a little nice. scale in there and what we what we can do in the editing Fire stuff like that. Like that. I'm totally open to it. Um, I'll definitely put your information. You know, like hey, this dude helped me out. Props to this guy, et cetera, et cetera. High five and shit like that. So uh, we're all YouTubers in this universe. We're all we're all YouTubers. So thanks for watching, guys. Have yourself a great night. Bye. Bye.